Hey, Mauro. Kevin. What would you bring us? Look at well, this. Here's the story about this piece of furniture. I'm working for this client, which we do a lot of work. And she has this piece of furniture sitting down in the basement, doing nothing, <laughs> all right? And she asked me if I could uh, throw some paint on it for her. I said, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, already painted, although not very well. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't finish it all. Right? right, and I mean, who doesn't have something like this kicking around in the basement or they find out a flea market? Almost everyone. Let's give it a second life. All right, how do you want to get started? Okay, we're going to start by hitting with a 220 grit sandpaper. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to try to, uh, we're going to remove the hardware in order to sand all the drawer fronts. Um, and then we'll be ready to prime and paint. All right, let's get these out and I'll give you a hand. Is this one going to come out or is this stuck in here? Uh, I think that's fixed right there. It doesn't come out. All right, we'll leave that in there. Time for tack clock, Kevin. Let's see if there's any dust left here. Tack clock will take care of that. Just gonna make sure that all the little tiny particles come off. Time to prime. Just a basic primer, just a latex? Well, what we're using here, Kevin, is a water-based primer. You can also do interior and exterior. Yep. We're going to uh, apply it with this uh, mini roller, which nope. is four and a half inch long by three eighths roller nap. No brush, huh? You like the roller? Roller will give us a nice and smooth finish, a good foundation for the top coatings that's coming up right now. The roller works great on these drawer fronts. And the other thing too, so we can get a lot of work done with those mini rollers. Love them. Does this primer have a color to it? Yeah. A little tint? Oh, that's like... Uh, a gray primer that you can use under any dark finish coatings that can save you a lot of time and money. All right, Mauro, looks so much better already. It looks awesome, yes. Uh, well, we're almost there. Let's wait for about two hours for this primer to dry, and then we'll be ready to top coat. Right, our prime is dry, so we're gonna use this acrylic interior paint. Yep. We're gonna have a different technique this time, Kevin. We are applying the paint by roller, and then we're gonna back brush. Oh, really? Yes, so. so for what purpose? Well, homeowners wants to see some brush marks on it. Ah, okay. So, and that's the good technique to get it done. So that's just gonna be for the look, right? Yes. Okay. Ready to go here? Just regular interior latex paint. Acrylic paint, yes. Now I know why you used the tinted primer. See, it's all about the coverage. So as soon as we paint, we use the roll up with the first coat. So we're just gonna be a back brush, just like that. Now, did you get your brush dipped in paint to do that? No. Or did you just back brush it? I just back brushed. So I can just drag this across? Just drag that across. Paint is already there. So I like this natural brush stroke, Mauro, but it makes me wonder why don't we just brush it <laughs> to begin with? The homeowner specifically told me she doesn't want to see much of a brush stroke. She wants to see just a very light and subtle brush marks, just a little bit. If so we all brush would give us too much brush stroke? Absolutely, yes. Combination of the two, just the Combination right of the two will give like a, a very, very fine brush marks. What color are we working with here, Mauro? This color calls navel blue. I like it.
second coat is completely dry. Hardware back on. What do you think, Kevin? I like it, Mauro. It's a nice big pop of color. And I gotta say, that brush stroke, it does actually make all the difference. It looks sort of natural, a little antiqued. Yeah, there's some character, this old piece of furniture that came out nice. A little bit of work, a little bit of paint. Here we go. Nice job. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.